Hi, I'm Don Darst. Welcome to another episode of Lotus Gallery's Talking Art. Today, I thought we would take a look at an artist's studio. And the first one, of course, I'm the guinea pig. It will be my studio. My intent is to encourage other artists to share videos with us of their studios. So let's take a look. Here's my studio and you can see uh, the gate to the courtyard with a Christmas wreath on it, which I have forgotten to take down until I just noticed it now. Oh my gosh. And we're greeted by my dog, Mac, and my other dog over there, Wrigley. And what I've done with my studio is I built this first and then later decided to build a house onto it. That's sort of the reverse order of some people. Uh, now I'm walking in and to the right is a sink, a little work area there and a bathroom. Storage wow. area that I will not take you in, there's no way. <laughs> and over here on my music and over here on the left, you see I collect brushes. Not really, but I can't throw brushes away. Just something about that. Swing them back around so you don't get too dizzy, maybe. We'll walk into the major, major studio. And uh, uh, it's facing north, uh, a little to the east. And my dogs are uh, trying to comment about various things, too, as I talk. But uh, sometimes the glare of the lights gets too much, so it's... It's important to have shades, even on a northern exposure for me. And uh, what I've done with my lighting is I've actually used track light and I face it up and I sort of make a reflected light type thing, make, make the light spread around. And I think that helps better than the glare you get from the, uh, direct lighting. The other thing I do is uh, I'm now using an umbrella light, which is really good for diffusing the light and giving you good color. So you can see in this studio, I do have easels and uh, the dogs still want to chime in. And this is because I teach art too. So these are for my students whenever I can do that again. And then watching various videos, I have my TV set up and sometimes for being getting a real big picture of the work I'm working on or whatever, I'll use that. Uh, still life stand in the corner so I can set up for still life. Right here in the middle, I've got a frame going with a painting in it that I'm doing on t tables that I bring in and out for that purpose. Art all around the sides of the studio, primarily so I know what art I've got because uh, uh, putting art in galleries and things of that nature is helpful to see that. Also, I can use these as examples for students too on, on what not to do and what to do. Um, that's it pretty much for my studio. I'm sure there's a lot of other things I could possibly show you in here, but I wanna make a short video and give you all the idea of what you could do too uh, in doing a video. So thank you very much.